forecast, we're really focused on that transition of clouds to showers uh, to some patches of fog developing south. That puts the morning starting out around 60 degrees, but really Knoxville will then get cut off midday around 80 degrees and that's when that scattered rain starts spreading out. So let's walk through that timeline. You can see a couple of showers here at the Tennessee Kentucky line 5 6 o'clock got some early morning light showers just trying to make it in even at this point just boosting the humidity levels there. So the morning hours has a shot at a couple of light showers far southeastern Kentucky, far northeast Tennessee, leading edge of the clouds still just trying to come down into the valley, down to Crossville, down to Knoxville, down to Gatlinburg. As we get into the late morning, that leading edge of clouds it really kind of spreads out. A couple of showers start trying to boost the humidity levels in the valley to mountains. Scattered rains then draped midday across northeast Tennessee to southeastern Kentucky and is dipping into the valley to the mountains. So we haven't even made it all the way into the South Valley yet. That scattered coverage kind of slowly sags across our area, getting a couple spots of rain further South Valley, really driving across Northeast Tennessee to Southeastern Kentucky with some moderate rain to isolated thunderstorms. Evening hours here, you can see a few showers then South to Central Valley. Peel that back, have some fog develop, get more of a stray pocket of rain to still develop for your overnight tonight. So in terms of that rainfall potential, you can see where it's still on track to add up further north and east. So that means a few hundredths to an isolated tenth of an inch at best for the plateau, the valley, the foothills to mountains. And then it steps up in that tenth to a quarter of an inch with a very isolated third to a half and this blue streak that barely clips our area like parts of Knox to Bell to Harlan to Hancock, Hawkins and Green County. That is Knox County, Kentucky to be exact. So how does that impact temperatures? Like I said, Knoxville and south, you got some warming time. That means a midday high of 80 Knoxville, but low to mid 80s South Valley. Meanwhile, we already have choppy 70s and more 60s even north and east as we get into the afternoons when we would normally hit our high. It'll actually be 74 Knoxville to 77 Loudoun and Etowah, 78 Spring City to 74 Crossville this afternoon. That'll be 68 Jamestown to Stearns, 64 Ewing to 69 Rutledge in the afternoon, 70 Maynardville again impacting those temperatures from 63 Greenville to 75 Sevierville to 77 Madisonville. Big differences in both rain and temperatures north to south. Leveling things off here with that front settling in. We have a couple of sprinkles and some areas of fog tomorrow morning. The sky is more mostly clear. Then we have some scattered clouds passing with some stray rain possible midday to afternoon tomorrow. That'll really give us more of a mix of mostly sunny to partly cloudy, but the humidity levels will also be dropping. So temperatures just kind of have a nice steady climb from mid 50s in the morning. A little cooler will be around 70 at noon, feeling the effects of that cold front had around 79 degrees. Actually, be pretty mild on Friday after a cooler morning because of that very low humidity gives us more cooling room or 40s in our higher elevations to low 50s. It'll be 84 Friday, step up to upper 80s on Saturday and Sunday, but humidity starts stepping up on Sunday too with another front approaching. So a couple of showers and storms pop up Sunday, then a batch of rain and storms will be moving in late Sunday night into Monday.